Welcome to the second edition of our AFC Champions League magazine where we preview the game against Seong Nam. So far, two points in the two first games against Tianjin and Nagoya. And uh, now it's Seong Nam at Central Coast Stadium at Tuesday, 7 p.m. I have with me John Crawley, goalkeeper coach in the Mariners. First of all, what do you think of the first two games we've seen in this Champions League? Oh, I think there were two uh, good results for us. Um, Tianjin away, uh, travelling away, our first uh, uh, game was a great result, I think, uh, and under the conditions and for a lot of our players a first attempt at Asia, I thought was a, 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 a great result. Uh, second game, Nagoya, always coming up against uh, a Japanese side is uh, a challenge and although you know it was a draw at home I think uh, we can take a lot from that particular game and um, uh, I think you know scoring points against the Japanese is a good thing as well so I think uh, we've done quite well in the first two games. You are the goalkeeper coach in the Mariners but at the same time you have a lot of other assignments in the team. What can you tell us about your role and how you work in the Mariners? Well, I've been the goalkeeping coach uh, for uh, you know uh, six or seven years now, but I also do the video analysis. So we actually uh, uh, review games and uh, we preview games using uh, using a video. It's a it's a great feedback tool for both the coaches and for players. Um, and without it, we'd be we'd be lost, I think. So um, that's basically what I do. And we're going to talk a bit about goalkeeping, but uh, we start with an interview with goalkeeper Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, first of all, how would you review your season so far? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, the season's been great to date. Um, obviously, becoming minor premiers, uh, tick one box off off in the goals list, and looking forward to, to tomorrow night's game against Song Nam and um, to Saturday's uh, re return leg against Brisbane Raw. Uh, looking for a bit of payback from uh, last week. What is the biggest uh, contribution to your success this year? Uh, I just think confidence. Um, a bit more experience this year, so uh, just that in game situations, I just feel a bit more confident to, to try things and boss the boys around a bit more. And I mean, the defensive structure this year has been um, yeah, proven difficult to break down, and that's full credit to the boys in front of me. And, and um, just yeah, when I've been called upon to make a save, I've just been in the right place at the right time. How is it to work with uh, John Crawley? Oh, yeah, I grew up, uh, he, he was pretty much my only goalkeeper coach and he's taught me uh, pretty much everything I know and I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him. Um, just the, the training sessions and the, the style of goalkeeping that he's taught me I, I've come to, to know and um, I really think that it's the best, uh, best style here in Australia at the moment and um, yeah, I've been playing pretty well. Is it a challenge to play both the A-League fi Finals and the ACL campaign uh, in this month? Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's a heavy workload for the boys, but uh, we we got everything in place here to try to keep uh, each and every player fully fit for each game. And, um, yeah, we get a lot of match practice, and over in Europe they're playing games pretty much every third and fourth day. So it's a good challenge and one everyone looks forward to. And Seong Nam, tomorrow, what has Graham taught you about that team? Uh, we haven't really uh, done too much uh, video analysis on them them yet. Um, obviously, we know that they're a pretty successful team in uh, in Asia, and they've um, been pre pre uh, pretty successful in the, the ACL in previous campaigns. So um, we're coming. They come here tomorrow, um, confident, and hopefully we can get a result here at home. What do you say about Matt Ryan's season so far? Oh, look, I think he's had a stellar season uh, again, uh, following on from his first year. Um, and I think uh, he just keeps getting better and better. Um, I think uh, he's been uh, instrumental in the success of the team so far. He's played exceptionally well in, 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 uh, or at a standard, a very high standard for most of the season. And the good thing is he's carried that form into um, the Asian Champions League as well. And uh, look, I think he's had a fabulous season and um, he works really hard. And for a young kid showing a lot of maturity, uh, I think he's, 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 he's really performing, so I'm really happy with him. How have you then worked to develop his uh, skills and talents? 
Uh, well, Matthews uh, was involved in our youth team here at the Mariners. Uh, prior to that, he was involved um, as a young boy in uh, a school of football that I, I run in Sydney. Um, so he's been in and around this school of football, I guess, for six or seven years. So, um, uh, look, although he's still a very young boy, I think he's um, he's he's he's, he's learnt. Uh, to play at a senior level quite early on in his, in his development, I guess. He plays, you know, well off his line and um, he plays, uh, he, he defends um, the second 18 yard box, as I say, he's always on the front foot and he's, a, he's an attacking type goalkeeper. Um, he's very good at um, um, high balls. Um, one-on-one -on -one challenges and he's a very good distributor of the ball as well so uh, I think that all comes into play at, at the very senior level and uh, for a young boy he's he's got that yeah can you tell us the process on uh, how you work with the video analysis with the players yeah well as I said before uh, we review games and we preview games so we we take a, a wide-angle shot of each of the games that we play so we can see all of the park, uh, not just individual players, but everyone on, on the park. So we know all their jobs, both on and off the ball. And um, we just uh, sit down as coaches and we review uh, the games, but we also present to the players what we think we feel is necessary and important to them, what they need to see. Sometimes they don't need to see a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said before, it's a great feedback tool uh, when you use, use a video. And that's, that's reviewing games. Previewing games, we'll, we might go out and scout our uh, opponents that we're playing or coming up. Uh, we will, you know, um, look at their overall form, their structure, uh, their strengths and weaknesses, and uh, we'll best decide on how to um, you know, appropriately tackle uh, them in the in, in the upcoming game. So it's uh, like I said, it's, it's a great. Uh, tool to have and uh, without it we'd be pretty stuck. And uh, now the game against uh, Seung Nam, the preview here, have you seen anything special in their patterns of play? Uh, we're, we're still working on, the, on, on Seung Nam, uh, we're looking at a, a, a couple of games but uh, look they've got um, some attacking weapons, some resilient players, a boy plays up front and holds the ball up well, they're very skillful, um, very technical. Um, and uh, look, they'll be, they'll be a hard uh, team to come up against, but um, hopefully we can find an angle where we can actually, um, uh, you know, um, hopefully, uh, you know, find an angle and see where we, where we can win the game. We have met uh, Seong Nam's uh, coach, Shin Tae Yong, for his views about the game. What can you tell us about your team? Our team, we had a, a couple of changes from the start of the season, especially in the attack. We're in that process where we're improving right now. He feels now we're in that point where the turning point where the, te the players are getting used to each other and it's, they're starting to change and it's starting to get into a better path. You won the ACL 2010. What your expectations and goals for this uh, year's campaign? Definitely our goals are to win the championship. He feels we're in that process right now of trying to achieve that, that goal, which is definitely to win the championship again. What do you know about the Mariners and the A-League? He's, he's, he feels that he, has, he knows, he's aware that Central Coast is in the first spot right now in the league. Um, he feels it's a strong team, a good team, especially uh, he, wa he watched F Sydney FC play against Central Coast and also he watched the Nagoya game against Central Coast and he felt they weren't being pushed around, they put up a game against Nagoya as well. What do you say about the game tomorrow? He feels it's going to be a, a strong and a hard game tomorrow. He, we, did, we did come all the way over here to win the game. He feels that by tomorrow's result, we're going to be able to tell way more about how our groups are going to stand at the end. Last of all, how do you think Tuesday's game will turn out? Uh, hopefully it's a, a victory to us. I mean, um, look, we're playing at home, it'd be nice to win. 
I think uh, having had two draws, it's nice to feel our way into the Asian uh, uh, tournament. But at the same time, we need to get um, a couple of wins on the board to secure us a place in the second round. So, um, you know, our first two games, we were treading water. But I think this game, we, we, we love to win it. And because it's at home, we'd like to take the points. So it would be nice to, to come out um, victors on Tuesday night. Tuesday at the 3rd of April, 7 p.m. Here at Central Coast Stadium, will we see the Mariners beat Seongnam? Come here and find out.